Guys, I've made a big mistake. I got too cocky, too excited about the great unknown. That was not especially clever. G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to Stranded D, back in our Pacific Island paradise, just basking in the warmth of the afternoon sun, watching that big gaseous ball of flame dip below the horizon and into darkness once again. But I'm coming back, because I've got the itch, I've got the urge to finish this bad boy off. We found ourselves a seaplane, it's full of snacks, it's full of fluids, and it's ready to take to the skies to get me out of, but I mean, look, it's a paradise. Nice, but I kind of miss civilization. I miss ducking down the shops, banging around the corner to pick up a fluzzer. It's been a little while, and I'm hankering for a burger or seven. So tomorrow morning, once that sun comes back up again, I'm going to head back home. Probably going to hit every island on the way, actually, to try and find some more spuds. Because I need to get my fuel still crafting way. need to get some gasoline going to power me plane. But I also need to go and fight the bosses. I know that they're scattered around the map. And apparently, that's where all the uh, aeroplane parts are being stored or hidden. So, I'll go fight the bosses, whatever they may be. And get the parts to build my plane and get out of here. That's my dream for today. I have no idea how much progress I'm going to make today. I'm going to give it my reddest and hottest to cracks. I suppose it's only 10 to 6, so I might even be able to make it out to the island out there before. Oh, no, it's right on the cusp. You can see the shimmering light bouncing off the waves. It's idyllic, but not exactly inviting. Don't need to risk it now. We don't need to take any chances that aren't completely necessary when things are about to go so entirely pear-shaped. There we go. Wait for the green splash like I'm watching Pirates of the Caribbean, though I don't think that's actually a thing. There we go. Lights are on, so it's now night time. Have a cheeky snooze. Gonna be a big day tomorrow. A big day. Grab whatever we can on the way back home and get things cracking on. Come on, there we go. Yep, not we're happy. A little bit thirsty, but that's all well and good. Jump back onto you and try and get cracking on. Drop you. Jump. Jump on the run up. Can I get back on the bloody raft, please? I lagged off the edge. God, let's not make a flounder of ourselves this early. So I've already been to that island over there. That's where I found most of the gums I needed to make the stills and stuff that I had on the beach over there. So I don't need to go back there. I had a bit of a cheeky gander there when I was on that land and didn't see any spuds. I'm gonna head over to this island instead. And I'm pretty sure, because it's a little dark over here, isn't it? Pretty sure that my, my home was... Yeah, to the north. Kind of like between those two islands. We're heading in the right direction. We'll just bounce around a bit before we make it. Oh, it's getting brighter too. The sun's about to crest. Look at that. You know, when I finish this game, when I've done this quest and taken off from me playing up on the aircraft carrier over there, I'm going to miss it. It's a gorgeous game. Look at that sunrise. How could you not love it? Put a bloody Bloody Mary or a mojito or some kind of very fruity and delicious drink in my hand and let me bask in its glow. Where we going though? Where's a good place to dock up? No idea what I'm sailing into. Hopefully there's not too many oh, monsters of various kinds over there waiting for me. The last thing I need now is to turn myself into a shark snack. There's not much for me to work with, but it looks like there's a little bit of a jangly piece of rock sticking out into the depths over here that I can jut up against. Try and time this right. Oh, look at all the coral and stuff. Oh, just down there. Drop you. I mean, that's about as perfect as a dock as you can really get, right? Sort of like cruising up to the ISS and getting suctioned on. Couldn't ask for a better result than that. Quickly whip out my big impressive stick to try and cordon off big balls of bacon that'll be coming for me. No. Leave me alone, you bloody soon-to-be BLT. I'm only here to nick your spuds. I don't want anything to do with you. Go away. Just looking for any potatoes hanging out underneath the undergrowth, but so far not looking particularly promising. It's kind of hard to see from a distance. I don't even know what they look like. I've only found a couple of them over the trip, so I'm not super familiar with it. Just hoping that something will light up under me cursor or let me know. Oh, there's a little bacon. Just let me know that it's there. There's all the horny boys waiting for me out there as well. Like, I don't want to have to murder every little thing on this island, but I will if I have to. Oh, yeah, here we go. We're going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, or toe-to-claw, I suppose. Reach out. Ow! There goes one of me toes. I don't look I have any balance because my pinky toe's gone. Do I want to take you home with me? Mm, maybe. Look, I'll leave you here for the moment. I might bring it back with me later. There's a snake hanging out under this tree. I'm going to quickly just whip it in the chin. <laughs> which is the snake and which is the spear? There we go. Sorted you out. Give you a little tickle. Give you a little spin. Need to play the leak spin music to go with that, but I definitely don't need you, so just throw me snake meat. Ah! 
into the wet stuff like a floppy freaking javelin. That was weirdly satisfying. I enjoyed that. Bro, also, another one? Go away. I just need the bloody coconut. Piss off your bloody limp noodle. Nah, I think I'm shit out of luck on the spud front, so there's not really anything here for me. Uh, oh, there's the Bory boy. I was going to say, like, can you take to the skies again? I've seen you fly more than I've seen you trotter. So I wouldn't mind if you could just leave me alone right quick. How is there nothing here, though? I thought I was going to have good luck today. Damn it, I guess not. There's just, there's just nothing here. I'm not going to bother taking everything out of these crates that I find. There's a couple of things like corrugated line and duct tape will probably come in handy. So whip them in me very deep pockets. Got pockets like Mary Poppins' handbag. Yeah, we'll just check a couple of things before we go. May as well like, turn over all the rocks and see what blue ring octopus scuttle out. Grab the leather. Any boxes in here for me? Nope, just a big hulking wreck. Oh, there's one all the way out there, though. I think that's fine, though. I really needed the spuds. That was the main thing. I think I cut my losses and skedaddled to a new island. I bet you someone in the comments is going to be screaming at me that I've, like, wandered over and fondled a bunch of potatoes this whole time and never bloody seen the sausages. So, if that's the case, I'm really sorry, but I just didn't ever bloody saw them. Mmm. Ooh, just check that one real quick. I saw, like, the broad leaves of the plant, and I was like, oh, maybe, but no, it wasn't to be. Nothing over here either. All right, yeah, I think I think we're done. I think we're done. Let's jump back on my sweet pirate raft and continue our journey. Uh, I think that's my home island out there. So I have a little gander at that one on the way through. Do a little bit of a cheeky zigzag. I'm getting chased by a buzzard. We'll do that. See what we can find. Good idea building the canopy too. Keep myself nice and cool. Oh, look at that thing. I was going to say there's something in the water. Oh, I thought it was a marlin. No, that's like one of those goblin shark things, isn't it? With the big old honking schnoz, like the gonzo of the shark world. Mm, yeah, okay. I mean, I was going to try and kill you, but I think I should probably just leave you alone. If you leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. Live and let live. You know, I'm sure you've got plenty of friends down there that can honk your schnoz for good luck or something. I'll leave you to that and go along my merry way. Man, it'll just come out of the depths and disappear again. That's not helping my thalassophobia. I like it if you squint, you can see my little hut propped up under the leafy ferns over there. It's a lovely little place. I quite enjoy my little house out there. My home island is nice and safe and sanctuary. Which does mean, though, have I been to this island, though? It's pretty close by. I'm not sure. I don't think so. I didn't really sail out this direction much at all until I went looking for that ship. Get off you. Mmm, I mean, there's potential, and there's a little bit of a spit of land right in front of me, like, oh, God. Jeez, calm down, would you? The buoyancy has gone through the freaking roof. This thing handles like an elephant on ice skates. Swing you around. That's some good driving. Get you docked up nice and close. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Oh, just as I pulled up, of course, Sammy the Shark's come back for a visit. Oh, you're a tiger shark. Tiger sharks and bull sharks, not to be trifled with. They are they are bad news. If you're a bloody street sign, they're bad news for you. There's nothing in that uh, in that boat, which means I've probably been here before, which means this might be a bit of a fruitless endeavor or a potatoless endeavor even. I'll grab what I can find though. No, nope, that's just a stick. That's fine. I've got plenty of sharper ones. Hmm, yeah, okay. Maybe I have been here before. We'll do a ring a ring of rosy and see what we can find. We're not gonna dawdle here too long. The weather has taken a turn for the worse, and I still haven't found oh, there's lots of PP on this island. Man, this is like the Johnny Sins of Island. Just PP for days. But I haven't found any of the spuds yet. So maybe they don't spawn on every island, or maybe they're a rare spawn on islands, because I'm just not having any luck at all trying to track them down. Hmm. Right, that bodes a bit of a problem. Plus the weather's turned, which means getting back home again is going to be a bit more challenging than it was only a matter of hours ago. Palm tree, palm tree, palm tree. Shit. Right, all right. Well, I guess I'm shit out of luck on that one then. Maybe I just brave the storm and just try and go home. And it's not too far away. It's just out there. I can see the banks of safety. Is it worth risking it though? Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm too impatient to just dawdle here too long. Let's just jump on the old kayak and get cracking. The waves are exposing some pretty big rocks out there. I'm going to try and not make the Titanic, and I will actually make it to my destination. That's where I'm headed, right? Oh, this is such a bad idea. Jump on the rudder, retrieve the anchor, and try and split the gap like we're tearing an apple in half. 
straight out to them. And it's going to get bonky. And it's going to get wavy. We're going to ride. Uh-oh. Rocks. Rocks, 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 rocks. Oh. Well, I may not decide to take. I have to wait for a wave to get up and over the top of it, though. There we go. Please don't get stuck on the back of it. Just point your nose in the right direction and start praying. This is going to get real dicey real quick. I can see the warm, welcoming glow of whatever fire's going on over there. The gods are real unhappy. Probably not super smart to be sailing with a, ra a, a raft with a sail on it because it's the tallest thing around when we get struck by lightning. No idea if that's a mechanic, but it's definitely something I'm a little bit concerned about. The other thing is that I have no idea where my um, where my jetty is. I spent all that time and effort building the bloody thing. Now I have no idea which side of the island it's on. I think that's it over there. Oh, there's a rock bar. We'll swing around the outside of that one. There we go. Made it to the shallows. We're out of the rough stuff. That was um, that was a bold decision, Josh. Not sure I'd do that again. Here we go. Just line it up as best I can. Oh, that's me. Oh, yep, that'll do. All right, we've <laughs> run aground a little bit. Drop the bloody anchor, please. Right, I've only shot it by a bit, but that's okay. All right, we're finally back home. It's been a while since I've been here, but it's good to be back. The first thing I need to do is harvest up my spuds and get some fuel on the craft. Because the spuds are going to take some time to regrow. Plus, I want to take advantage of the fact that it's currently raining. So my uh, farming plots are going to get watered. You're growing. You're happy. Fuel still needs fuel. That makes sense. Got some spuds. Um, all right, real quick. Where's all like my sticks and stuff? I need some burnables. Ah. Oh. I don't need to fuel it. I just need to fire it. Okay, it has fuel, but not fire or that which it desires. Uh, my kindling should be just at the front near my smoke gun. Grab that. So how do I load the spuds into you then? That seems like a pretty important thing to know. Quickly give you a sequel and get some friction going. Nice. All right, you. Add mash. Add mash. It's bubbling away. This is going to make me some petrol. Nice. Okay, that seems to work out okay. Chuck you down. Got a big Rocco there, and I'll grab some extra yucca as well. Maybe some more lashings. Always a good idea to grab them before they respawn. Oh, I forgot I had two spoiled spuds left over in my box back home. Okay, that's good news for me. Uh, the rains have ended. That's less of a problem. Nothing else really around that I need to be aware of. We're all good. Uh, I do have some extra duct tape on me for no reason, though. Chuck you away. All right, so... I'll go and grab that extra corrugated iron that I found on my adventures. It's dark as dicks, but that's okay. I'll go and grab that, make myself another couple of farm plots. Chuck those two spawned spuds in there, get them growing as well. So then, well, what, two spuds filled up half of my fuel still. So four spuds will fill up the whole lot, and I'm going to have four spuds on the grow. Grab both of you, all of you as well. I'm going to take all the planks and shit as well while I'm here, because why bloody not? It's going to take me a while to sort out all the inventory space in here. Oh, I've got so much materials. I didn't really go to, like, find all this stuff. I'm not going to complain about it either. There we go. Grab all of you. Jump back over here. And I do have the gyrocopter parts. And I'd love to make the gyrocopter. But is that going to be a detriment to my fuel making capabilities? I think so. My little uh, planter boxes do not want to be chucked down on a slope at all, which is kind of ruining the aesthetics of everything else I built. But sure, we'll chuck you there then. Nope, I, I want my hoe back. Arlene, stay with me, please. Make another one of you. You're on the piss, but that's okay, apparently. Just needed the two. Plant potato. Plant potato. You're going to need some fluids, so it's fine. Won't take a moment. Chuck the rest of this back away. Like, is it worthwhile me using the spuds I grow to make more spuds? Like, to grow more? Or is four planters going to be enough? I'm not sure. I think I actually have enough stuff just on me from my adventures recently to build the gyrocopt, like, straight away. I've got all the engine parts cracking about. Um, could we have a little look in you? Antidote, no. Arrows, no. Probably get rid of those entirely, because we're not ever going to use that again. Oop, drop that. Sorry. Well... How is it going to look as the sun rises? Can I actually build this thing? I'm not sure if I want to fuel it or not, but we'll see how we go. Vehicles, farming, story. I mean, vehicles, won't it? Yeah, vehicles. Proppy boy. Gyrocopter base. What do I need for that? A hammer is required for vehicles. That uses one, one. I reckon I can do that straight away. I reckon I can do that immediately. Before I get distracted by that, though, I do need to go and make sure I'm... Can't hold any more water. You're already full? Wait, what? I mean, okay, I'm okay with it if you are. Eat a water, there you go. Grab the other... Wait, how do I change between them again? Or just my scrolling? I don't know if any of you actually have... Yeah, you do. Okay, good. 
There we go. I have plenty of water left over. We're fine. There we go. That's three quarters watered. You're only half watered, but I'm flat out of water at the moment. A bit of a problem. Your half and your half. How are you looking? You've got a third fuel. Okay. So, it's still up in the about how much gas I'm actually going to need to power my plane. But that means now I can grab one of you and see how much fuel we can suck out of here. Like we're siphoning out of a diesel can. Grab you. How did that go? 50% fuel. Okay, so a third of my still that puts 50% of a jerry can. Okay, okay, that's fine. So two spots. So There's four spots per jerry can. How many jerry cans does a plane take, though? This is like asking how long a piece of string is. All right, let's have a look at this then. What's it going to take for me to make the bloody gyrocopter? You, grab one of that. And I, I don't know, do I have to make like a launching ramp or something? That's like a bit of a ramp to me. I'll chuck you there on the flat ground. Then we'll make a seat. Chuck you on. This is looking very much like the Seven Days to Die gyrocopter. I'm not going to lie. In fact... I feel like this is exactly the same model. Even like the deterioration on the rudders or the ailerons, the rear control surfaces look the same. Uh, I'm gonna need one of you. Like you're on someone, there you go. You're looking the same. <laughs> this is getting a little suspect. I'm not gonna lie. I my, my doubts and my suspicions are being raised. Is this freaking among us? Cause this is fucking sus. The last bit I need is just the rotors. So I'll chuck you on. There we go. I have now made myself... Ooh, start engine. You don't have any fuel. I mean, I do have half a jerry can inside. And I'm kind of tempted just to give it a whirl and see how it goes. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. Anyway, I'm going to put that to the back of my mind and pretend like it didn't happen. Ooh, yep. Here comes the rains, though. Chug a log, bug a logs. Get that all in so you get you nice and moist. Damper than a cantaloupe split in half on a summer's day. You can have that. I can put the hammer back away again. Parts can go back into here. Well, I'm not going to go take it off in the thunderstorm, am I? That's a great way to get yourself sizzled. What I'm going to do while the storm's raging, now that I've moved my raft to actually get into the jetty, I'm going to focus on like things I don't need. I don't need two arrows. I don't need the bloody bow. Uh, air tank will probably come in handy, actually. I don't need four hammers over here, either. I'm going to focus on just getting all of, like, my weaponry sorted out. Like, if I just go with an ass ton of spears, that'll, like, that's what I need. Right? I'm going to take on whatever boss fight's going to be waiting for me. I'm going to need all the pointy objects I can muster. So I may as well just fill all of these things with pointy objects. That'll come in handy. I don't think I'm full. I am full. However, I don't need you. I know I could just fire these out of the bow, but this will work just the same. Don't need you either, but I'm throwing the bloody things. Chuck you down and throw that away as well. I know I'm being wasteful. I'm never planning on using them again anyway. The weather finally seems to be breaking. I mean, I'm okay with getting an occasional rainstorm through. It just waters all my shit for me. Waters me and my plants. Uh, made myself a little pile of uh, logs out here to go with my pile of lashings, which is getting filled up nicely. Uh, pile of rocks. Got no rocks to add. No, that's fine. I'll actually just grab these fronds and chuck them straight onto my what we call my water stills. Get you cooking away. Even though there's plenty of fluids in you and only getting better. This is good. This has got so much stuff. This takes much time to sort my inventory now. Wasn't ever anticipating having this much governs. You know what? Clear blue skies. We've just had a thunderstorm, so we should be right to go for a little bit. Give me my 50% fuel. This may be a waste of the dinosaur juice, or in this case, potato juice. But either way, I want to know what I can do with this bad boy. Quickly fuel you up. That used all of my fuel. So one jerry can goes on the dry. Kind of makes sense given that's probably the fuel tank it uses. Yes, it is. But it all makes sense. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. How do I go up? Oh, we're flying now! Suck a big old floppy cock, Sharky boys! You may be able to fly, but I can fly higher! The only thing you have to worry about now is the gravity of the flying crabs and bloody Borky boys! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! This is so good! I love this! So that tells me how much fuel I have, which is bloody handy. I'm gonna fly out to this island and just see what's going on. See if I can knock on the neighbor's door and ask to borrow a couple of cheeky spuds. This is the best. I mean, I don't know how this is gonna work out for the rest of the game, but maybe it's just like a quicker way to just get from uh, like point A to point B. Also, not really sure how I go down. 
Oh, Crouch. Control to Crouch. Crouch goes down. Gotcha. No whackers, knackers. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, we're on for a big adventure now. G'day, everybody. How you doing? Just uh, popping over right quick to see what's going on with you lot. Just going to pop on down. Uh, wait, this isn't the same island I was just at, is it? It kind of looks a bit similar. I'll just plonk it out about here somewhere. How do I get off? There we go. Good landing by me. That looks heck and bloody risky. Having a whirly bird spin around right at the eyebrow height. That's a great way to get rid of the fuzz, but I didn't think I had any of the spare. Definitely not from the neck up. Uh, yeah, I think this is the odd I was just at. Looks awfully familiar. But that's okay. You know, we're exploring. This is what happens sometimes. Gotta go where you know you've been before you can go somewhere new. At least that's what I'm gonna tell myself as I feel better. Yeah, it definitely is the same island. All right, well, that's fine. Quickly jump back on me little uh, ostrich over here and get back up into the skies. Well, now what do I do? Hang on, wait, what? How do I... Oh, wait, hang on. It's turned it deep and I can just, like, grab things and throw them around. There we go. Don't know what just happened to me, but the giant was like, mm, yeah, nah, mate, not really, not really feeling it today. Up we go. So that's my home island. I'll head out over this way, then head off to the next one. Oh, there's another ferny place out there too. I'll check them both. The sun's setting, but oh, I've got the hankering. This one's looking awfully more. Oh, we've got flying pigs over there. Oh, I'm flying over some pigs cut too. It's gonna plonk down right about there or to do. Oh no. Ah, uh, that is a frightfully low level of fuel. Oh, Josh, you utter monkey. Did you just maroon yourself on a freaking island because you didn't bring enough petrol? <laughs> oh, no. Guys, I have made a big mistake. I got too cocky, too excited about the great unknown. Oh, God. Okay, make myself some spears because there's some horny boys around. That was not especially clever. Shit! I've done dumb shit before, but this one might just take the dumbass cake. So what do I do? If Do I just try and fly back home and at some point my gyro will just conk out of steam and I'll fall into the ocean with the sharks? I'm not sure what the, um, what the right thing to do here is. Maybe I'll just save it and give it a whirl. Like, what's the worst that happens? I turn into fish food, I get eaten and swallowed by a whale like I've been freaking finding Nemo. I'm not entirely sure. I don't really want to find out. I only heard a little bit. That's fine. The nip is only nipped. I mean, well, while I'm here, may as well look for spuds then. I can't believe I did that. Why didn't I think that far ahead? I thought my fuel would last me longer. I'm having flashbacks. I'm having flashbacks like Kerbal Space Probe and getting Jeb stuck on the moon and having to mount some brave rescue mission to get him back again. But this time, I'm Jeb with no way home. What the shit am I supposed to do? The sun's going down. It's getting real dark out of here. So finding spuds is going to be a, a bridge too far anyway. I've got no lights, I've got no rafts, I've got no way back home. This, um, this was not especially clever. I've been this. Oh my god, and I've been here before. Anyway, this is the island I stopped in on the way back home. I thought I went in a different direction, but no, judging by that, and, like, oh, I have been here. But that should mean that, like, yeah. <laughs> No, 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 I didn't want to do that just yet. I was going to say, I might just, like, bring you back with me. Oh, All right, I guess I'll make it, like, a campfire or something. Oh, it's dark. It's so dark, and I can't see anything. <sighs> Josh, what, how do you... How are you so bad at everything involved in your life? What the fuck? Just going to quickly whip up a fire so I can sizzle up those steaky boys I just got. Just, like, chuck you down, and... It was just the one? Okay, that's fine. I'll just chuck you on like that for a moment. Didn't I murder another one? Yeah, there he is, just over there. Quickly cook up some food. Got nothing else to do. Can't feed my gyrocots. I may as well feed me instead. I'm livid. How, how did I do this so badly? How did I get all the way to this point and then fuck it up like that? Oh my god, I'm, this is going to take some work to undo. Do I try and fly back or is that just asking for trouble? I feel like we're back on day one again. Chuck the meat down and just chuck you on the fire with all the rest of the meats. They're all cooking up nicely. Maybe cheating the system a little bit, but hey, if it works, it works. Now, I need to make one of you because I need some way to both save this and sleep this. Cheeky save, cheeky sleep. 
I mean, if I bin it, right, if I try and fly back and I just nosedive into the ocean, I can just reload the save, right, and end up right back here. Um, it's maybe not the best way to do things, but I'm not sure what other option I have. Which way was back home, even? I don't even know where I am anymore. Oh, there's the boat out that way. Okay, so that means that that one is my home island. It's a long way to go on not a lot of fuel. How did I burn through that so quickly? I've barely gone anywhere. You know what? It's a beautiful morning. I've got some snacks on me. I'm a little bit peckish. I'm mostly thirsty, actually. Could whip up a couple of you guys. I'm going to try for it. I'm going to try. I don't have much fuel at all, but maybe if... Oh, it's that one over there, actually. Let's just grab you and point you in the right direction. Even, like, the extra 30 feet might save me life. Point you that way. If I just get as much altitude as possible, maybe when it stalls out, I can get, like, an auto-rotation going on. I'm not sure it's a mechanic in this, but we'll see how we go. Grab you. Right, we're just going to go up and away. Up, up and away. My beautiful, beautiful gyrocopter. And then just pray I can kind of skim along the water as possible. And maybe swim the last of it. How quick is the use of fuel going down? Very quickly, actually. Okay, this isn't going to end up well for me. Oh, God. Please don't drop like a stone as soon as the dinosaur juice is gone. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, there it goes. Oh, we're going down. And we're just going straight down like a rock too. Okay, that's where you have to go. Try and keep your eyes on the prize, Josh. Which way? That way. That way then. All right, get, get off you. Can I grab you and kind of drag you with me? Gyrocopter. Yeah, here we go. All right. Well... It turns out flying didn't work, so we're just going to back paddle our way out there. It's going to be a really bad time for a shark to show up. Maybe I can trade the gyrocopter to the shark for a ride back to shore. I saw a zebra ride a bloody dolphin once. Let me catch a rider one too. I know I could and probably should leave my gyrocopter behind, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to let my wonderful new possessions sink to the depths of the ocean floor. We're not out here to build any reefs. I want to keep this one with me. Have a look. We're going yeah, in the right direction. That's good. In fact, can I like... Uh-oh, the music stopped. The music stopped, which is probably some sharkies about. Oh, just keep going. Just keep going. Just close your eyes and just keep swimming. Listen to the little forgetful blue fish and just pray for the best outcome. If only I could use the gyro to, like, prop myself up out of the water, get some safety. I wonder if I can actually do that. Hold on. Let's just go, like, oh, oh, kind of, kind of. Start from below. Give us a dink. Where we going? Going over that way. There we go. I'm like riding the drone. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. I left it behind. Hold on. Grab you. Don't let you sink. You're upside down, but that's fine. I mean, geez, you're whipping about. I could almost just kind of yeet you back home. Oh, oh. Easy. Yep, we're getting... We're slowly getting there. Gyro, don't get left behind. Come with me. Come on. You're fine. You're fine. Don't panic. We're all good. This is definitely how I saw my day going today. I started the day by planning on fighting bosses, and instead I'm just fighting my own muppetry. Well, that's par for the course, actually. Day survived 28. I don't think I'm going to be surviving much longer. Where the hell is Willy the Whale when you need him? I'm out here in his playground. He helped me once and just kind of like lounded about a little bit. Didn't really give much help at all. But now when I need him to give me a ride, I'm calling out to your will. Get over here and give me a dink. Chuck some pegs on your bike and dink me across town, would ya? How far away? Oh, God. I'm not far away at all. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Defend myself from the hammerhead shark with a freaking gyrocopter. Come on, gyro. Stay with me. Block him. Block him. <laughs> We're playing defense with a gyrocopter. This is not how I wanted this to go. I'm so close. I, oh, I'm so close. The shark is desperate to nibble me. The weather's getting a little bit bleak out here. Oh, uh, you know what? You just stay there. You just stay there for a moment. I'm going to quickly get to dry land. I'll come back for you in a jiffy, gyro. Let me just sort out my life a little bit. What have I got? Oh, I'm so hurt. I'm so thirsty. Um. Oh, I, I gotta hang on. Hang on, Jaro. I promise I'll come back for you. Just stay there for two seconds. I'll be right back. Get over you. Where's my fluids? There's my fluids. Quickly just drink a bunch of you because I desperately need it. All right. Oh, I need health though. Don't I, oh, I get health for being dialed super hydrated. I can't do that right now. Although the music's kind of stopped, so maybe the maybe the shark has just left me alone. Let's quickly dip onto the blue stuff again. Pray that he's given up on me. Gyro? Where'd you go, Gyro? <gasps> there you are. There you are. You haven't been lost to the depths just yet. Grab you. Come on, we're going. We're going. That's not fun for one day. I have attempted fate and swum across an ocean. Come on. Get on the dry stuff. Go and bake in the sand for a little bit. 
Oh, that was the worst. That was the worst thing I've ever done. How the dick did I get away with that? Never again. Jaro, you were fun for four seconds. You were a short ride, a fun ride, but I'm not coming back. I'm deleting your bloody number. After all that, I'm actually going to save my water stills for... Oh, there we go. Some water's got pumped in. Oh, that's okay. I'm going to save my water stills for later because I think I would rather... Uh, go and just like eat a rations or something. I don't need it for food, but need it for water. Then it'll just be like a one-stop shop to get myself back up to healing territory because that's just not going to fly. <laughs> Neither do I, apparently, given my recent efforts. You cheeky rations. Pump you in. That's going to start giving me some health back. Oh, man. That, um... That was awful. I don't even know what to do with myself now. Like, I know I still need to go and fight those bosses and stuff, but my spuds haven't grown. Things have stagnated a little bit, and I also just have lost all of my confidence from <laughs> trying to fly to islands and binning it. Rather, well, non-spectacularly. Just, just binned it. There wasn't even anything good about it. What I do want to do, though, my axe is almost dead. It's got 12% durability, and people were telling me in the comments that because you need the uh, refined axe to make the plank station... Jeez, I just yeeted shit all over the place with that one, didn't I? Something went into the bushes, I'll never get back again. And if I break you down, this is supposed to give me... 100% durability, durability refined axe. I'll take everything back again. Go like that, so that can stay there. I don't know what went into the bushes over here. I hope it was just like some debris or something that I actually need. And I'll quickly chuck, just like you, the... Nope, wrong one. Anywhere I can put the bloody thing. If you've got any spare room, there we go. Put the one... No, the 100% durability one away. Take the 12.5 durability and make myself a new plank station. That's supposed to like... Just like, yeah, let's repair my axe for me, did it? How do I make the bloody plank station, though? I've already forgotten. Was it in here? Somewhere? Yes, no, maybe. I don't know. Can you repeat the bloody question? Yeah, there it is. Just hold C and it's right there for me. Brand new plank station. I will rotate you though around to like that. There we go. And there you have it. A nice uh, restored refined axe for me. Thank you very much. Happy as. I was worried about having to make a new one of those. Well, the sun is setting on another day. We're back on our home island now though, which I'm very happy about. I might cook a grab though. That'll do. Grab myself a cheeky torch because there was... Where's my gyro? The way that I came in, there was that big shipwreck under the water that I haven't really seen before because you can't really see it from the surface. So there's probably some good looting to be done down in the depths down there. I've already taken on a shark once today. Mm, my health is still looking pretty iffy, but you know what? I want to try and do it again. I just want to see what's waiting for me down there. Might be something good, might be nothing, but I won't know till I scratch the itch. Where the hell was it? Here it is, lurking out of the depths. Can I go straight under the the railing? Not the railing, the floor. I can, but there's not much for me down here. There's a door that's clogged up with rock, so that's not super helpful. God, it's a long way down, so... Oh, boy, is it a long way down. Huh. All right, I didn't quite <laughs> foresee that being a problem, but oh, well, we'll get back down there again and see if there's anything worthwhile. Is there, like, a bridge or something for me here, or... Oh, yeah, here we go. Anything in you? Sneak around the back. Some barrels. Come on, squeeze through. Yep, good. Nothing. Nothing. And nothing. All right, maybe I have been here before. This is a bad idea. Maybe I should just cut my losses for a change. Maybe I should just calm my collective farm. I just appreciate the fact that despite bidding my gyrocots into the ocean <laughs> not long ago, I'm still here to tell the tale. So happy about that. But the sun is setting. The day's over. I think maybe I'll just spend a little bit of time just on my island here, growing my spuds, being full farmer woodle, getting everything cracking on, getting my fuel sorted, because there's no use... Oh, grab the spud. There's no use getting all this done uh, and going and fighting all the monsters and stuff if I don't have the fuel that I need to actually fly the plane. So I'll get my fuel situation sorted, maybe get two full jerry cans of fuel done that might be enough i think at least i hope so add some mash in you. you're gonna need some more fuel for the fire though that's fine i'll grab some from somewhere if i got logs over here if i get that all done and dusted then when i'm ready to go and take on the monsters at least there's a reason to anyway guys with all my lights on and my fuel still working away it's pretty here at night time as well which i quite like i'm gonna have to leave this episode here when we come back i'll have the fuel done i might just spend a couple of days just at home getting that done and we can come back and we can go and fight the bosses get the aeroplane parts and hopefully 
fingers crossed, finally escaped the Pacific. It's taken a long time to get to this point. I don't want to do it by halves now. I think we can all agree that Gyrocopter was a bad idea, and I wasted half a jerry can on that horrendous plan. So, we live and learn, or in my case, thankfully this time just live. I definitely won't learn my lesson. Let you keep going away. Yeah, I'll come back and prep myself up and get rid of the take on the bosses in the next episode, because this episode is done. So, thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.